What's up, YouTube? It's Jack Rabbit here, back with Angel, which you guys know what that means, because it's the only video she's appeared in recently. I'm just saying. We have other videos we promise we are going to do with her, but it's try treat time again. A little late this month, but that's okay. That's okay. We still get it in. Okay, let me get the knife out. The wolfy knife. Hey, why am I getting fucked for that? This is try treats. Not nice. That was nice. No, knife. Oh. Oh. Fuck. oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna show off which knife I'm using. Okay. <laughs> it got a little. St okay, what flag is that? A red and. Red white. and white. White and red. Um. Well, no? would you know? Red and white stripe? Top on top of each other. Eastern European. Oh, Eastern European. Ooh, Eastern European. Ooh, this is gonna get interesting then. And we got... Poland! Poland! Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, well, you do what you do every month. Alright, this month's treats come from come to you from Poland, a country in Europe close to the Baltic Sea and steeped in tradition and culture. Poland is known for many things, including being the birthplace, birthplace of composer Frederick Chopin and the home of some of Europe's most beautiful and oldest cities such as Gundertwick, known as shown on the front of this postcard. Right there. One, well, it has a love for chocolates that date back to the 17th century. Chocolate was intentionally a luxury product but became available to the public through Gold Wilden, who started E. Wilden. Today's chocolates are beloved treats in Poland, and this is this is represented by the good amount of chocolate in your box with rich and creamy Ooh. treats like Palaki and the iconic Prince Polo, both made by the chocolate pioneer E. Walden. We hope you enjoy your treats in this box. Tell us your favorites on Facebook or Instagram for a chance to win more treats. And we do YouTube, so hey. Mm -hmm. And let's see, ooh, what recipe did we get? Ooh, that actually looks like a, oh, ooh, that is a good recipe. Okay, ooh. That's definitely one we might want to show to your dad, actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're missing one. Oh, actually, I think it's right here, actually. That's actually kind of funny. They say we're missing it, and then it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. We got lucky. Oh, well. Okay, so let's go through the tree. Well, let's just do the one that they, uh, Said it wasn't in here, but it's in here. Looks like it's some form of cracker. I Ikima can go sesame snack with honey. Hmm. Interesting. Let's check it out. We oh, will good. break these as well, just like we, we did last time. We tried to last time. Yes. Should say. We tr we'll try to. These things get off the hand. Looks like there's three. Mm. No, wait. Is it just one? No, it's three. They're just stuck together. Okay, one for me. Ah. ah! That did not come off very well. Okay, well, you know what? I guess you get the good one. I'll take the one that got busted. <laughs> that may only be... You know what? It's two. We're going to call it two now. Because... I'm going to split this in half so Melody can get a Listen taste that. of it. Yep. You mean off camera person? I don't think we've actually said our name <laughs> on camera. No. No. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Well, this is its taste. Sweet. Very sweet. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna finish this thing. It is good. Definitely. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Very I also, good. I also taste a um a peanut buttery taste. Yeah, I do too. It's not just me. Okay. All 
All right, so let's check out whatever these things are. Ooh, fudge. Ooh, that just got my attention. Mm. We got fudge. I don't know where it is on here, but we got fudge. The first snack was okay. That one, I liked it. I enjoyed it. As I said, I'm going to finish it later. I can't find it. Right here. Yeah, but I can't find it on the listy here, but that's okay. Right there. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> Kuroku or cow candy in Polish. Okay, well, that's actually helpful. Or milky creamy fudge candies. You'll notice these Polish fudge candies are different from American fudge. So they are soft and crumbly in texture, and they will melt in your mouth. Ooh, and I love fudge, so this is right up my alley. Well, what one? Here. Can I even open this thing? That's the question at this point. Oh, okay, yeah, it opened real easy. It seems to me it's more got more of like a caramely test. It's kind of like the Werther's do. If you guys know what Werther's are here in the States. Almost right. looks like a caramel, actually. That's literally what I was just comparing it to. Werther's, which I was just eating the other day. Mm. Okay, definitely not a caramel. No. But definitely fudgy. And I like it. A little dry. A little on the dry side. Mm -hmm. I can agree. But that's kind of how they described it there. But not bad. Oh, and guess what we got? Our monthly pretzels. It seems every box we've gone in, we've got some form of pretzel item. Might as well do that one next. Yep, uh, it's called Palatskis. Palatskis. Um, this is why she's here, cause I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this. Palatskis. Okay, so okay, well, Palatskis, Palatskis by Len. I'm not even gonna try to say it. Lala Dunduk, or however you pronounce it, I am barely botching it. Are crispy, salty sticks. Paluski is known for being made from a traditional recipe and the traditional baking process in processing Paluski ago or, or results in these snacks containing a relatively low calorie content. Ooh, low calorie. Hey, and they're low calorie, but they're pretzels, so what do you expect? Hey, look, we got another one of these things. <laughs> Joe, look, we got another one of these things. Don't have to try that. But I'll definitely be eating more of it, I'm sure. We can save one for uh, my dad. Yeah, see if your dad will want to try it. Why not? I grabbed two, so right. Melody can have one. Sounds good. Let's see how it tastes. No. <laughs> Jack. Goofball! <laughs> I'm supposed to be the goofy one. She's supposed to be the straight man. It's true. I'm not normally being goofy. Mm, not bad. It's a good pretzel stick. I mean, definitely I'll be eating these, that's for sure. And I'll probably be snack later tonight. Well, among other things, apparently. All right, let's this see. This is good. Let's find some of the chocolate, man. Ooh, I don't know how we're going to eat this. We might just have to show some of these snacks. Yeah, well, no, we could split this. I don't think we can split it three, though. But I could probably split it in half. Depending on what this is. I'm not even sure what this is. But mm, what does it say on here? Uh, Right there. Oh, this is just chocolate, wrapped chocolate. So we should be able to split this in half, at least. At least. I'm not going to try to split it three ways, but... Oh. Huh. Oh yeah, I could definitely split this in half. Oh yeah, ooh, yeah, it's got a creamy center. Hmm. Hmm. There's something in it. There's yeah. a... Some type of... Filling. Filling. It looks... Ooh, and it's a milk chocolate. Oh. Ready? Hmm. One, two, three. 
Ooh. Mmm. I wouldn't say it's a milk chocolate, but it is good. Mmm. Too rich for me. Mm-mm. Mmm. Mm, yeah. Mmm. Coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did get it to where she could try some. I didn't mind it, but that's just me though. Oh, mm, yeah. I don't think it'd be one I would buy. <laughs> Let's just say that. Too rich for me. Mm -mm. Yeah, definitely not one if I'm in Poland that would definitely be buying. That's for sure. Some of this other stuff, yes, but not that. Okay, let's see. Oh, what else we got here? Ah, oh, well, you know what? Let's go after these next. Why not? Ooh. Ooh. These look like they're hard candies. And they are. They're flavored car Ooh, caramel. Hard candies. Citric caramel hard candies. Definitely one we're definitely going to have to show your dad. Because I think he might actually like these. Goodness. Well, I'm going to grab me what looks like a watermelon. Oh, really? Okay, you know what? I'm opening the trash can here. I'll go with... This one, it's in like an orange or a lemon. Yeah, I'm gonna go orangey on it, but. I or think... that could just be like a little painting on it. Yes. Because this one kind of looks like it could be watermelony, so. Yeah. Some form of melon. Definitely some form of melon. Uh, of some sort. Try one of these. So. Oh, that's okay. Yep. Three, two, one. Oh. So far, not bad. Oh, this reminds me of lifesavers. Definitely. Mm. Which is not a bad thing. Mm -mm. Yeah, maybe we should have saved these for last. Yeah, because they're taking a while. Yeah. Well, I got it to break. Yep. Yeah. All right. Mm hmm. No, no. Yeah. Definitely trying to save those for last. Apologize, everybody, but they were good. Definitely, definitely will be munching on those. Those are probably last all month, though, because they're a sucking thing, not a uh, chewing thing. No, God, Jack, that joke was terrible. All right, so now we've got these hazelnut breaks. Oh, okay, okay, that's something different, okay. Ooh, that's a wafer cookie. That's right up Joanna's alley, or Angel's alley, I should say. Yep, so Hazelnut Breaks by Jugopalaya? You botched that. Okay, well, how would you pronounce it then? Not sure. Gopaling? Or oh, however you pronounce it. It is a smooth, rich chocolate with cream flavor. For a burst of flavor, you can chew it or have the chocolate cream and melt in your mouth. Perfect for a treat. To enjoy on the go. Okay, so it's probably got some form of... Don't be munching on the pretzels. And it's melted. Ah, of course. So, good thing we have napkins sitting here. I think I'll leave that to you. Oh, thanks. Give me the melty, disgusting one. Thanks. The melty, melty. Ah. Not bad, but I think I am just going to go ahead and fill it, finish this off real quick because, uh, yeah, it's completely melted. 
We tried. But the tri treats were on Jack Rabbit's lap while well, bringing it over. Yeah, bring me, yeah. Well, I think this is from uh, it being outside. Yeah. Mm, maybe. It didn't exactly get brought in right away when it, when it no, came it did. in, so. It did. Oh, okay. As soon as I got to your to mom's house, I brought it back. I brought it in. Yeah, but that was a pretty hot, hot day, though, too. Yes, but it was recently look melted. It would have been hard. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, next ah. one. Now we're going to go with the wafer cookies. Prince Polo. Prince Polo. That I said right. And I do not see that on the list here. Right there. And Jack is blind, apparently. No, that's not it. Yeah, it is. Prince Polo. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Yep, and I'm right. It's a wafer cookie. So it's kind of like a... Hazelnut milk chocolate wafer. Hmm, interesting. And it's a little melty, too. Not surprising. It's chocolate. What? That's a little for you. Actually, go see if melt ones, honey. Yeah, let me break it out again. All right, Mel, here you go. Again, we're dealing with chocolate, so I kind of figured some stuff would be melted. <laughs> Oof. Oof. All right. Three, two, one. Yeah, how would be so silly? Yes. Yes, I do. This channel will tell you that's how I make my money. <laughs> you don't make money. I know, that was the joke. Not very good wafer cookie. Very good chocolate wafer cookie. Mm, it's okay. Let's just say if I was in Poland and I saw that on the shelf, I'd probably buy it. Let's be honest. You have to eat it right away, otherwise the chocolate will melt. Yes. Mm, yeah, okay, well, I'm not going to try to eat the rest of this right now. But yeah, that's another thing on the list of eating... Finishing off before dinner. Ooh, let's just say that. Alright, so what do we got left? We only got like two or three things left. Cool. Ooh, we got some form of gingerbread. Ooh. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see, these are. I wanna say these right here? You try to pronounce it since you think I botch it all. Pastry. Yeah, they're definitely a pastry and they're definitely gingerbread-y. Do you want one, Mel? No. Okay, no. Well, here we go. Here's one for you, then. They're mm. shaped like hearts. And they smell like gingerbread, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, if you don't like gingerbread, you definitely would not like these. <laughs> they are definitely gingerbread. They're pretty good. Oh, yeah. I said if you don't like gingerbread, you wouldn't like these, but I like them because I like gingerbread. these on a shelf in like here in the U.S. somewhere or um, if I was in Poland for any known reason, I would definitely buy these. Oh, yep. oh it, yeah. It says right here it's gingerbread cookies oh. made from a traditional recipe. Well, they know how to make gingerbread cookies. I'll say that because <laughs> they are definitely good. And I like gingerbread, so yeah. And the company has been making gingerbread products since 1763. It says here. So before the U.S. was even a country. So they know what they're doing. <laughs> I would assume. 
Yeah. I know that joke was bad. But. All right. We got more wafer cookies. Oh. Apparently, another thing they like over there in there is wafer cookies. It's just like a family wafer. Yeah, it's a giant one. We'll probably skip this. But probably, yeah, the it's, it's a wafer cookie. It's not. I mean, definitely something we're going to eat, that's for sure. Mm, these look interesting. Some kind of corn thingy. Almost that, like a corn puff. Yeah. They're right here. And I would definitely say someone's probably going to inhale these. Maybe me. Maybe Angel. Maybe Mel. I don't know. Someone's probably going to inhale them. Oh, excuse me. Pilotsky. Pilotsky. Hmm. They're a strawberry flavored corn puff. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of our our corn puffs that we have. Yes. Mill, you want one? All right, bye. Corn box, not much flavor. Very dry. Yeah. No flavor. Yeah. I don't taste the strawberry. No, I don't taste strawberry either, like at all. <laughs> what about you, Mel? Mm -hmm. What? Packing peanuts? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not going to disagree with that. She said packing peanuts. I'm not going to disagree with that statement. <laughs> Would I still eat hell and eat these? Probably, because I'm fat, but. There's no aftertaste either. Mm -mm. None whatsoever. So, yeah, they're good, but they don't live up to the hype. Flavoring wise, but not bad. I mean, again, it's probably something I'd pick up off the shelf, you know. It's just something to inhale and eat. But definitely, if I had to pick between picking, say they were the same price, say we got this or this, I would pick these. <laughs> definitely, over these, any day. I agree. These were amazing. These, I don't think, are going to last a month. I don't think they're going to last the night. <laughs> But yeah, we're definitely going to want your dad to try these because I think he'd really like these. If he likes gingerbread. Yeah. If he likes gingerbread, he'll probably really enjoy these. There you go. But yeah, overall, I'd say another good month. I mean, we didn't try one thing out of the box. Hey, that... But it's just another wafer cookie. I mean... It's a wafer cookie. I mean, there's not much we could say about a wafer cookie. But other than that... I'd say another good month. And um, yeah... Most of these, as I said, I would probably buy. There was one I think we said that was not good. And that was this. No, I said, I said I'd still buy these because they're corn puffs. <laughs> you, you. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, she's not a fan. I, I enjoy them. And hey, and we didn't go almost 30 minutes. So we went about 25. That's not that's better than last time. But yeah, so overall, yeah, I would say definitely these are good. And I do like the recipe we got in the back of the, uh, this time around. So overall, yeah... Most of these, yeah, if I was in Poland, I'd probably buy them. Especially these. These, I would say, were the winner of this box. That's for sure. That. Those, I don't yeah. see lasting long. All right, I will catch you guys later. Next up will be that special video I mentioned earlier today. If you watched my previous video I posted this morning, very early this morning. But, yeah. So, yeah, you can have that. So, if you guys didn't check that video out, please go back. That one is special. And I will check you guys later. I'm going to hop on out of here.